Do you ever find yourself copying information from some website into a spreadsheet? But what if instead of command C and command V, you could do it with just one click like this? Or by right clicking on the website? or even having it done automatically in the background. Well, this video is exactly this. This is one of those longer tutorial videos on web scraping. So feel free to move around freely. I'm going to leave all of the chapter titles in the first comment. First, let's get some fundamentals down. Information on websites is great for browsing, but it's not structured data that you can work with as if it was a spreadsheet. Ideally, you want to be able to see a list of, say, prospects, products, and different attributes as columns on all of the information in there. But this information already exists on company servers. It's just that your browser takes that information and assembles a website in code that is cool to look at. And now we need a tool to get that website code and transfer it back into the original format of a list with all of the attributes, with all of the information that you're looking for. For that, we're going to be using a no code scraper called Berdeen. You can download it by going to the description of the video if you haven't done so already. In the normal world, to make a list, you need to copy information from a specific part on the website, like this title, and paste it into your destination place. For example, this Google spreadsheet. But now, what if you could turn this into instructions that computer would understand? It would know where to extract information from, and it would know where to add the information to. That's exactly what a scraper template is. All you need to do is click on the element that you are interested in, such as this product title, and give it a name, such as product name. And this is how Bardeen will know what information you want to extract from this specific website, like Amazon product page. But because each website is built differently, you'll need to have a dedicated scraper template for each one of them, even if all of them have the same type of information that you want to extract. One may be for Amazon products, another one for eBay, and another one for Alibaba. Almost every scraper automation is going to consist of just two actions. The first one is the scraper action that's going to copy the information, and the second action is going to save that information to a place like a Google Sheet, Airtable, Notion, or an app of your choice. It can even be a CRM such as HubSpot. Now let's go ahead and build our first automation. For this first use case, I want to save this LinkedIn profile page to our spreadsheet over here. To build a scraper automation, want to open the browser extension over here and click on create playbook. From here, want to pick a scraper action and we're going to be grabbing information from the active tab or the curly open tab that we have right now. And here we're asked for an argument, a scraper template. Since we do not have one built yet, let's go ahead and do it. And let's build one for this website. Here you can see two options. We can scrape information from a single page or we can extract a list. This is an individual page. So we want to click on this single page scraper and give this a name, LinkedIn demo. Let's start building and let's click on the elements that we're interested in. Let's grab the name. So here we have the text attribute. I'm going to click on this item, get data. And here at the bottom, you give this column a name such as full name. Let's hover over the company selected, click get data and call it company. Indication, let's grab the location. And here are a few more things you can do. If we click on this avatar image over here, Bardeen automatically identifies that this is an image. So you can click on this attribute and let's get this information as well. I'll call it avatar. Pretty much any field that you see on the web page, you can click on and get it saved to your scraper template. But what if that element is not on the page? For example, what if I want to grab the URL of the page? I cannot click there. So instead, you're going to be using special fields over here. And then we have a few options. We can grab the page link. Let's call it page URL. And let's confirm. So now 
we're going to be grabbing, let's scroll to the right, we're going to be grabbing the URL of the currently open page. There are a few more options over here. You can grab the meta image, you can get the title of the page. So this is the title and some other attribute. And so far I've grabbed all of the fields that I'm interested in. So I'm going to click on save template. The first action is complete. We're scraping information on active tab or the currently open tab and using this scraper template that has all of the fields that we're interested in. Then we want to add an additional action and get it saved to a Google Sheet. Here on the left side, I have a list of apps that are integrated. If you do not have Google Sheets integrated yet, click on the plus icon to get it integrated. I'm going to click on Google Sheets actions and I'm going to add a row to a Google Sheet and I'm going to pick this prospects for outreach sheet. Let me type it in, prospects for outreach. There is my spreadsheet. And here, what I need to do is I need to do field mapping. If we go to this spreadsheet, we already have the columns created. So let's open Bardeen from here. You can open Bardeen from any page in your browser. This part is called field mapping and we need to map information from the scraper action to the Google Sheets action. For the full name, we want to pick that action number one, and I want to get full name attribute. Right now, they're matching. Let's wrap the company. Location. Education. LinkedIn URL. It's called page URL in our case, and the avatar. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to click on done, click on done over here again, and give this automation a name. Let's call it LinkedIn to Sheets Automation. Click on save. And our first scraper playbook was created. Now let's give it a shot. So here we have a LinkedIn profile page. I'm going to open Berdeen. You can also collapse it so that you have a little bit more space and click on this automation card. And just like this, all of the information was extracted and edit over here into our spreadsheet. Let's go back to LinkedIn and let's click on another person's LinkedIn profile, such as Artem. Let's open Bardeen from here and let's click on this card one more time. And all of a sudden, the information is in our spreadsheet, Artem right there. And you no longer need to copy and paste all of the information at all. Now it takes just one click. I have forgotten to include the tagline in my scraper template. So what if you want to edit your existing scraper template? Well, you can do this and here is how. Let's open Bardeen from over here. Let me expand it to the full screen view. Let's click on scraper and then let's find our scraper template. LinkedIn demo new over here and then you need to click on the edit icon and the new tab is going to open. This is the same exact web page where you created your scraper template originally. And here is the tagline that we're interested in. Let's get text, get data, call it tagline. You can also delete different fields over here by clicking on this trash bin icon. You can rename them if you want to. Just click on cancel. And this is how you can easily edit your scraper template. Let's click on save template. So now the scraper template has been updated. And now what I want to do is I want to add an additional field to our automation. So let's go ahead and open this playbook in the builder. So click on open in the builder. Find this add rows to Google Sheets. You don't need to edit or change anything in this scrape data on active tab. It's already using our scraper template, which has been updated. So we want to click on this second action, uh, Google Sheet. And just like we did before, let's find this additional field that was added. There we have it, tagline. Click on done, done again to get this playbook updated. Let's go back to LinkedIn, find another interesting person that want to save. Right, here we have Giovanni, for example. I'm going to open Berdeen, one click, and let's go ahead and see the information with the tagline this time added to our spreadsheet. Before we move on, I want to show you a neat trick. You can save LinkedIn profiles or trigger your playbooks with the right click. So if you're not a fan of opening Bardeen with a shortcut and clicking on the playbook card, you can do it slightly differently. In order for us to do this, let's go ahead and open Bardeen. Let's open this automation in the builder. Let's add one more action in the beginning 
and the action's name is when I right click on the website. So it's this one. And here we need to specify the menu choice. I'll show you what this means in a second. Let's call it LinkedIn to Sheets. And it's going to be visible when you right click anywhere on the website. Let's click on done. Let's click on done again. And because this is an auto book, this time we need to enable it just like this. All right. And now I want to click on another person's profile and I can right click anywhere on this website. Here I have different options, including Bardeen. And I want to click on LinkedIn to Sheets. This is the name that we've given it. And this is it. It's already saved in the background. How do I know? Well, I'll show you. I can open Bardeen from here, click on show history. And here it says that this automation has been executed on this URL. Let's open our spreadsheet back up. And there we have this account information. By the way, here is a cool spreadsheets hack. Let's do a formula that would get an image rendered from this URL. Let's drag it down. Cool, right? But now you might be thinking, I have hundreds or thousands of people I want to add in a similar fashion to a spreadsheet. How do I do that? I don't want to click on every individual profile and get them saved to a spreadsheet, even if it's with an automation. Well, for that, we're going to create a list scraper template. Let's open LinkedIn search. Let's see all filters. And I want to find all people who work at Bardeen. I'm going to pick the company, show all results. And here we have a list of 27 people. We're growing. And like you did before, let's open up Bardeen, create an automation, create a scraper automation, and grab information on the active tab. I'm going to create a new scraper template on the currently open page. And here we're going to pick a list. The reason we want to pick a list is because there is the same attribute, for example, the first name that repeats over and over and over again. And that makes a list of people. So I'm going to click on list scraper. Let's call it LinkedIn list scraper new and start building. The first thing you want to do is we want to find an element such as the first name on the first list item, then click on the exact same element on the second list item, just like this. And this is how you inform Bardeen that this is the list that you want to grab. If you think about it, each website probably has multiple different lists. For example, this is a list item that consists of different filters. The navigation bar is also a list. So we want to specify, hey, we actually want the list of people. From here, everything is exactly the same. You need to just click on the element that you're interested in. So here we want to grab the first name of the person. And we also want to grab the person's LinkedIn profile page. Let me click here. If you really think about it, this specific element consists of two different fields, the text field and the link field, which we're both going to get. Click on get data. The first one is going to be name and the second one is going to be LinkedIn URL. Let's grab the tagline. Location. And let's grab the avatar. So here's the interesting thing. It looks like you can click on either the avatar or on the full name in order to open the LinkedIn profile page in a separate tab. So you can actually grab that LinkedIn URL from either one of those. Since I already have it, I'm only going to get the image. And the last thing we want to do is we want to grab the entire list. So most websites, they're not going to load thousands or potentially even millions of records onto one page automatically. There are two ways that information is going to be loaded up. It can be either infinite scroll, think about your social media feeds such as Facebook or Instagram, or it can be distributed across multiple pages like on Google or in this case, on LinkedIn. So if I scroll all the way down, we actually have three pages. So it looks like LinkedIn is going to show only 10 results per page and want to somehow move on to the next page in order to capture more results. For that, we're going to pick pagination. Here I have no pagination selected. So I'm going to click on click pagination instead of infinite scroll. Now I need to locate the next button. It's over here. 
Once Bardeen captures all of the results on one page, it's going to move on to the next one and it's going to try to locate this next button one more time on the second page and click on it again until you're on the third page and so on. That's it. I'm going to save this scraper template, add a new action, Google Sheets, add rows to a Google Sheet, take that prospects for outreach sheet over here, do the field mapping action, click on done, done again. And this is LinkedIn people from search to sheets. Let's click on save. I'm going to minimize the window so that we can see what's happening here. And let's click on the automation card. And as you can see in the background, we're flipping through pages. We've just gone through three pages in a few seconds. There we have our prospect sheet. Let's click on the view. All right, and there are 27 people that were edited. Some of them I don't seem to have access to over here, but all it takes is one click. So right now, if you want to scrape additional folks into this spreadsheet, first, let me clean it up really quick. Let me select these folks, delete them, drag this guy all the way down. And now if I want to change the company, for example, from Bardeen to try to get Tesla employees just like this, show results. There are 48,000 of them over here. I'm only going to grab my first and my second degree connections, just like this. It looks like there are 480, which is quite a few. And uh, let's go ahead and run this automation. So Bardeen right now is trying to get all 480 pages and it's doing the job pretty quickly, as you can tell. Uh, so I can wait or I can go ahead and stop this. Uh, there are two ways of stopping. You can do it from over here or you can do it from over here. At the bottom right, you have stop scraping action just like this. And when you stop scraping, the information is going to be automatically uh, added to a spreadsheet. Let's open that spreadsheet. And there we have a hundred more results. This automation alone probably saved me tens of hours. But here's another question I have. What if I want to specify how many results I want to scrape instead of waiting until page 30 loads up until I click that stop button. What if I could just say, hey, scrape 30 pages and Bardeen is going to do the job for you? Well, you can do exactly this and let me show you how to uh, do that. We're going to open Bardeen. Let's open this automation in the builder. Let's click on the scraper action. And here you have a number of different choices. Here, the second variable is how many list items that you want to scrape. And you can specify, for example, you can say, hey, I want to grab 300 or you can specify how many you want to scrape every time when you run the playbook. So I can click on ask me every time. And here I can say, how many items do you want to scrape? Click on done. You can also specify how many pages you want to scrape. I personally like items. And you can even create custom delay for pagination over here. For example, you can say, oh, I want you to wait for three seconds before you move on to the next page. This is what I'm going to do. Let's click on done, done again. And now if I go to this spreadsheet over here, I'm going to open Bardeen, click on the playbook card. And so you have how many items do you want to scrape? I want to scrape 13 items just like this. Let's run the automation. So Bardeen is obviously going to go through two pages. And 13 additional results were added to our spreadsheet. So far we've scraped 150 results, but what if you were the type of person who wants to scrape thousands of pages? And if that's the case, you don't want to have your computer taking away from you, just watching a machine extract all of the information and flip through pages. You just still want to do the work. You just want to do it more efficiently. Well, for that, what you need to do is you need to scrape information in the background. And for that, we have a dedicated action and it's super simple. Let's go back to our LinkedIn search page and let's find my second degree connections from Google over here. 9,200 results, way too many if you ask me. And from here, I'm going to click on create new playbook, pick scraper. And here we have this 
different scraper action types, scrape data in the background. So I'm going to show you what this means exactly. And the first argument we're asked is the link of the pages that you want to scrape. For example, here I have the URL of uh, this search with 9,200 results. I don't want to use it quite yet because I might want to use it multiple times. So I'm going to create an ask me every time argument links to LinkedIn search for scraping. I'm going to hit done. That's our first argument. And the second argument is the scraper template. We have that uh, scraper template that does uh, search scraping. It's called LinkedIn list scraper new. The scraper we created earlier. I can specify how many items I want to extract. I also want to make this an ask me every time argument, call it how many results, question mark. Just like this, add the delay for three seconds between pages. Okay, this is perfect. This is our scrape data in the background. Again, we're using the same scraper template like we did before. Now I need to do a little bit of magic with field mapping. And it's done and done again. Call it LinkedIn background scraper, save. Okay, this automation has been saved. Now we don't even need to have the page open. So I can just go ahead and close it. And I'm going to open Bardeen from this page over here. Click on the playbook card. And here I want to paste the links to LinkedIn search for scraping. Remember we copied it just earlier for Google. And how many results I want to grab? I want to grab 36 pages because why not? Let's click on run this. And here's what's happening. There is a new page that is open in the background right there. This is the LinkedIn search page. And this is where all of the action is happening. I can click on hide over here and just keep doing my work like I did before. Very soon, I'll have additional information added to this spreadsheet. Let me just kick back, relax, and see this spreadsheet get populated. So there we are. Here we have our fellow Googlers. So far, I've shown you the use cases where we do our search on a website like LinkedIn and scrape it from there and add the information to a spreadsheet. But what if we had just a link of links and we needed to get information from those links. The traditional process, usually having some sort of a virtual assistant who's going to click on every link and then copy the information. Well, machines can do that as well. So let's go ahead and delete the results beyond page 21. And let's also select information in the first few columns over here. Let's also delete the avatars. And then let's imagine that we only have the LinkedIn profile URLs. So how can I get this five more attributes or even six added over here without actually opening every single page separately. Well, let's do some magic. Let's open Bardeen, create a new playbook from here. The first thing that we want to do is we want to recognize links. For that, we have the command that's called find links in text. I'm going to pick that and we're going to paste some information, a bunch of different links over here. Let me pick ask me every time and call it provide links. Click on done, just like this. So we're going to paste the links over here. Then let's add another action. We want to scrape information in the background. So there is our background scraper over here. Feed it the links. Where do we have the links from? Well, from action number one that we just created. Is going to recognize the a number of links. It can be one link, two links, thousand links, you name it. And then for each one of those links, each one of the list items that it recognized, each object, it's going to go ahead and run the follow-up actions, scrape data in the background. I'm going to pick our scraper template. We've already created it. That LinkedIn demo new one because we have individual profile pages, not search list. Click on done. And finally, we want to add this information somewhere. So for that, let's pick our favorite add rows to Google Sheets action. Pick that prospects sheet, prospects for outreach, do field mapping. We 
Click on done. So here's our automation. We paste the links, we scrape the data in the background, we edit to a spreadsheet, click on done and call it enrich LinkedIn URLs. Click on save. Are you ready for it? So let's select a few links like these five. Let's open up Bardeen. Let's click on our playbook card, paste it over here and run our playbook. It's running in the background right now. So I can just click away, kick back for a second, wait until Bardeen flips through these five pages. That's it. There's the information, man. I love it. So this is something that we call the data enrichment use case. I have a dedicated 30 minute video about showing you how to eradicate copy pasting and manual work. So make sure to check it out by clicking on the card over here. So far we've covered the individual page scraper, the list page scraper, and even data enrichment. But here is another edge case that you will probably find yourself looking at if you do a lot of scraping job. If you are scraping a list such as this one, you only see some attributes of LinkedIn profile pages. For example, we have the first name, their tagline, their address, and that uh, profile URL, but we do not even see their company information. You will find that if you actually follow individual list item links, you'll find information that you might actually want to scrape, such as where they went to school, the company they work at, their about information, and all of that good stuff. So using a list scraper alone is not really going to cut it. So there are actually two jobs instead of one that you will need to get done. First, you'll need to get a list of LinkedIn profiles based on search, and then you'll need to go to each one of them, get that additional information loaded, and then save it to, again, your favorite place. This is something that we call Deep Scraper. It uses two scraper templates. So the first one that scrapes a list and then the second one that goes to individual pages in the background. Let's go ahead and do exactly this. We already have our scraper template built. So it's going to be super easy. Let's pick that scraper action. We're going to scrape the active tab because we're scraping that uh, list from search uh, over here. And let's pick our list scraper template, LinkedIn list scraper new what we've created. Ask me every time for the number of people that we want to extract. Click on done. I'm going to add a little delay of three seconds between pages. So we're grabbing the list of people and then I want to add another action. It's going to be also a scraper action. We're going to be scraping in the background and here we need to provide the links. Where do we get the LinkedIn profile links? Well, from action number one. And then here we have different attributes. We want to pick LinkedIn URLs. So we're feeding this scrape data in the background action, the links. Let's pick that scraper template for profiles this time, not for lists, but for individual profiles. Because we'll provide this scraper action, a list of profile links, we also want to match it with a profile scraper, LinkedIn demo new. And that's the one. Click on done. And finally, save that information to a spreadsheet and rows to a sheet. Prospects. Prospects for outreach. Done. Done again. And we're going to call it uh, LinkedIn Search Deep Scraper. Let's click on Save. And now I'm going to modify the search a little bit. So instead of Googlers, let's find people who work at SpaceX. Show results. Open Bardeen. There we have our Deep Scraper playbook. We're going to grab four pages this time, because why not? And have this first list scraped over here in the foreground. And then each individual page, as you can see, is going to be scraped in the background over there. So we can click away from here if we want to. So we have this first person uh, being scraped and we have JT scraped and we have this other person in Joshua. 
All right, the page is being loaded and then I can open our spreadsheet over here. So here we have our four SpaceXers uh, with their taglines, where their addresses and their education, the information that was previously not available. And it's time for us to take a look at advanced scraper use cases. It's going to be slightly technical. And the big question is, what if you click on an element and if Bourdain just doesn't recognize it, if it's a lot more difficult to get that element extracted, some sophisticated website, maybe with some anti-scraping practices, you never know. In order for us to answer this question, we need to look under the hood for Bourdain scraping and how websites are structured in the first place. So imagine I want to grab this pronoun variable over here. How do I get it? Let's go ahead and try to uh, build a Bardeen automation. I'm going to expand, click on new scraper template, pick single page scraper, call it pronouns demo. And let me visually click on this element. Uh, we're going to grab text, let's get text. So it looks like it was grabbed correctly. Let's give it a name really quick. It looks like Bardeen has grabbed the information correctly, which is perfect, but how do I know it's going to do the correct thing on the next page? Or what if it didn't grab the information correctly? Uh, you can edit it and here is how you can do that. Let's click on these three dots and click on edit. And then here, here is the additional information. The field name is called pronoun. The element type is text. You can also switch it to a different element type. It may be an underlying link or an attribute or you name it. And when you click on advanced options, you will see something that's called selector. So Bourdain has looked at the LinkedIn code and figured out, oh, the element that you clicked on, it has the following attributes. For example, it has a class that's called text body small over here. Here. and it has another class called T black light and whatever. So based on this information, when you go to the next page, Bourdain is going to think, oh, are there any similar classes that have all of those attributes present on the page? And then Bourdain has looked at a lot of different patterns. Specifically, it has grabbed five different patterns of classes. For example, this one is uh, the div, the type of, etc. So we can delete those additional selectors, those, those ways to identify the position of the element in the code, and we can have our own. Let's just keep this one for now. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to save this scraper template because why not? Let's right click on this element and click on inspect over here. And then we're going to automatically navigate to the place in the HTML code where this element is located. So here's what we can see. We see the class that's called text body small. And then inside this span, we have data called hiring. We can also call it unicorn, for example. By the way, when you update it, it gets updated here as well. So you can mess around a little bit. And here, what we want to do is we want to pick one of the classes. For example, I'm assuming that all of the pages that have text body small are going to have this pronoun element over there. So let's try it out. Let's open Bardeen. Let's go to that uh, scraper template that we just created. It's called pronouns demo over there. Click on edit, get this page open in a new tab. So here we have that pronoun uh, already there. So what I can do is I can even delete it and I can click on a random element, for example, like this one. I want still to get the text, but then say I wanted to get the pronoun and then I've gotten this uh, mutual connections. So instead I'm going to click on edit over here, click on advanced, delete all of the classes that were wrongly generated and then add that permutation. And I've copied in my clipboard the class I'm going to click on dot, which stands for a CSS class over here. We're grabbing text and let me click on save. And this time we're grabbing that hiring element. And this is how you can do advanced scraping. But we're not done yet. I want to show you another really cool use case of grabbing information that's in the code, but that's nowhere to be seen on the page. In the case of LinkedIn, this is the LinkedIn posts URLs. For example, if I want to create a list of all LinkedIn posts with a mention of the brand name, and if I want to get them as a spreadsheet, technically I can scrape a list of LinkedIn posts, but I cannot quite get the link to the post, so I cannot 
open the link later on so I can engage in the post. I'm going to show you what I mean exactly in one second. Let's create a new scraper template. Pick list scraper because we have a list of posts, list of LinkedIn posts. Start scraping. And here, let me scroll down a little bit more. Uh, I want to grab the link to this post. So let me try to grab text over here. Okay, we first need to identify that that's a list. You have all of the instructions right there. Uh, and then let me try to click on these elements. So we can grab the link to the post text itself and the link if it was listed, but not the link to the post itself. You can try clicking around again, uh, like, oh, let's try to get uh, this guy. So we we'll try to get the outer layer, the box that has uh, pretty much all of the other elements uh, combined. Uh, for example, here you have just a combination of feed post status is blah, 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 Blake, the name. So all of the text is all mushed together because we picked the class above and then all of the internal classes and all of the text is going to get concatenated or combined into one string. Or here you might have a list of links, a URL in this case that it picked up, but again, doesn't get me the link to the post. So I cannot do anything about it. I'm going to cancel that scraper template creation. So the only way for me to grab the link to this post is to click on these three dots and click on copy link to post, which is something that Bardeen might be able to do with the advanced hover action and then uh, try to hover over every element, but it's probably not very good just for the anti-scraping measures. There is a different way of doing this. And for that, let's open our inspector mode over here one more time. And here's how I'm going to figure out uh, the link that we are looking for. First, I'm going to copy the link to the post. Let me just paste it over here. And then here I have URN activity. This is the actual post ID. I'm going to copy this element over here and figure out, hey, is there this attribute somewhere in the HTML of the page? So I'm going to do command F in the elements and I'm going to paste it over here. And it does look like there are 14 of those attributes. So here we have the LinkedIn URL, but if we go down, there's another one and another one. So because it was generated uh, over there, the link that we saw, it was also generated over here. It might not have been generated for the other post as a link at least. So I'm going to keep going. So it does look like we have uh, this class that's called featured update V2. And then within this div block, we have data URM and the data itself. So this data is actually an attribute. I'm going to show you what I mean exactly. So let me cancel the selection. Let me grab this class like this. And then I'm going to also grab uh, this data URM over here. This is called an attribute. And then let me open Bardeen. Let me build a new scraper template and we're only going to be using, let's create a list scraper, call it LinkedIn post new. Start building, um, click on two elements one more time, this one and that one. Okay, so we have those boxes around, there's pagination that we could do. You just click on infinite scroll. Uh, let's grab a text. Uh, like this one. Okay, so there we have text. We're going to call it uh, post body. Uh, okay, and then we need to grab that post URL that we're talking about. How do we do it? I can click on a random element uh, such as uh, this one. Let me just grab this uh, text information. And um, I'm not interested in it, so I'm just going to click on edit. And then here we have the field name. I'm going to call this QRN. This is our unique ID for the post. And the element type is going to be attribute type. And for the attribute type, let's click on advanced. Let's delete all of this information. And then here we have the selector. And the selector is how we identify the position of the element. We had this feed share update V2. Click on save. And here in the data preview, you can see all of the post IDs. And this officially concludes our full no-code scraper tutorial. If you have any questions, make sure to check out the links in the description and specifically go to our user community on Slack 
and ask for help. Ask for your fellow automators and the Bardeen team. We're always stoked to help you. I will see you there. Cheers.